This is Dr. Chad Lavender with Marshall Orthopedics presenting my technique, incisionless synovectomy and synovium biopsy. This patient presented with a left knee effusion with concern for septic arthritis versus inflammatory arthritis. A spinal needle is inserted into the anterior lateral joint space. A nitinol wire is then inserted into this spinal needle, and the spinal needle is then removed and replaced with a small cannula. Inflow is then connected into this cannula, and the arthrex nanoscope is inserted into the patellofemoral joint through this cannula. A spinal needle and nitinol wire are then used in similar fashion to create the medial portal. The spinal needle and the nitinol wire will then be removed, and through this percutaneous portal established by the nitinol wire, the 2 mm Arthrex Nano Shaver or 3 mm Shaver will be used. We then begin the synovectomy and synovial biopsy of the patellofemoral joint. The image on the left shows the graft net, which has been applied to the shaver. This allows us to harvest the synovium and send for pathology interpretation. Here you can see the shaver is then used to perform a medial compartment debridement. The shaver is then switched to the lateral compartment and a thorough anterior synovectomy is performed. You can see in the upper right hand corner of the screen the graft net is still applied to the shaver. Here you can see the shaver is then placed back into the patellofemoral joint and the final synovectomy is performed. The synovial biopsy is then removed from the graft net and placed into a sterile cup and sent to pathology. Here is a final image of the knee showing no incisions. The final pathology shows that cellular architecture has been maintained through our minimally invasive harvest. There are several advantages to this technique. It eliminates the need for an incision, which can diminish risk and improve early recovery. It is both diagnostic and therapeutic and has a great potential in painful total knee arthroplasty.